Welcome back to Dead Good Book Reviews, I'm Judith and you're watching another What I'm Reading Right Now video here on the channel. It is the 15th of February when I'm filming this. I know what date it is, it's everything's fine. Uh, and this is another one of those videos where I talk about what I have been reading, what I'm currently reading and what I'm going to be reading next. I have been reading too much. I read more than I thought I was going to read last week. I'm going to give myself credit for that. I really thought I was going to have to carry over every single book from last week into this week. It's only one thing that has carried over but it is, uh, there's still a lot to be read. But I have read four things since last time we spoke. Let's do it in chronological order like we usually do. This is Our Dark Duet. This is the sequel to Look At Me Having Both Books Available To Wave At You, This Savage Song. This is the Monsters of Verity series by V.E. Schwab, which I reread for Overbooked. There'll be an Overbooked video in a few weeks. Um, I liked this in terms of just talking about the sequel because I did talk about This Savage Song last week. Um, I think it is less strong than book one, but possibly more interesting in its kind of concept. Uh, by the way, I slightly misspoke last week when I said there isn't a romance in this. There is. I'd kind of blocked it from my memory as being a thing that existed. It is not the focal point of the books in a way that I think possibly the uh, blurbs would have you think. Maybe? I don't know. I think it's more about their relationship as individuals than their romantic relationship, if that makes sense. Anyway, I had a good time with it. I need to construct some more coherent thoughts before I film that video, but that will be happening at some point. After that, Angela and I hosted Patreon reading sprints on Sunday afternoon, which was very, very pleasant. And I finished two things, two things I did not think I was going to finish. Kicking off with Infinity Gate by M.R. Carey. This is a new science fiction book. It's coming out do I have the actual date? The 30th of March, there you go. And um, this is a sci-fi book in which we are dealing with kind of multiverse theory, I suppose. Um, and it's really hard to pin down the plot because uh, there are so many different characters and it's one of those books where you kind of follow a different character as the protagonist, but it's not split out into sections. It's confusing. I kind of need to film a video about it, I think, to get my thoughts in order, at least something Patreon exclusive. And yeah, I actually really enjoyed this. It was much more crunchy science-y than I usually prefer in my sci-fi, but I think that was good for me. I think that was a good thing to read to remind myself that I can read and enjoy that kind of sci-fi. I just typically don't. I won't say I loved every element of this, but I would read another book in the series, which I thought I wouldn't when I picked this up, just because I typically don't go for that kind of, uh, as I say, crunchy sci-fi stuff. Uh, but there was a lot of character to it. Uh, uh, I'm interested to see where it goes, had a good time, would probably recommend more thoughts possibly in the future. And then I did actually manage to finish Monsters We Defy by Leslie Penelope. This is a adult uh, fantasy, but kind of paranormal more, um, set in Washington in, can I remember what kind of date it is? 1920s. Yes, 1920s Washington. I feel like I've got that from the cover, really. I don't know what my brain is doing today. Clara is someone who can kind of uh, commune with spirits in a way. She's got a lot of connections into kind of this uh, not other world. It's really hard to explain. She can talk to spirits, but it's not, that's not the, the plot of the book. It's more like a heist story in a lot of ways. And a lot of the book is about introducing these characters and their particular uh, charms and tricks, which is kind of like the, the good side of the magic you've done and the negative consequences that come with having done that magic. It's really good. I would recommend this. It's a really great story. It's got some really great characters in it. It's got a lot of heart. I, I had a good time. It's been a while since I've read like a murder mystery heist kind of book. This isn't a murder mystery, but they, they fall into a similar category in my mind for some reason. I enjoyed it. Would recommend. And the only thing of this week's reading that I've actually managed to finish because it's been slow going. We're here at Wednesday and I've not done that much, but I finished Storm Chaser by Paul Stewart and Chris Riddell. Uh, this is the second book in the Twig trilogy, which was the first chronologically published Edge Chronicles trilogy. Strong opinion here at the gate. I think this might be my favourite so far. I feel like Midnight Over Sanctifrax is going to tip it because that was always my favourite as a kid. But this is a really good book. This has basically all the hallmarks of Edge Chronicle stuff that I enjoy, that the Sky Pirate stuff, the uh, introducing a band of characters. There's some hefty betrayal in this. It's really, really good. And I think that it's all the more impactful having read... Come on now, brain. Having read the original Quint trilogy, the, the prequels to this. There's just some really interesting character stuff. I won't talk about this for too long because out of context of the rest of the series, if you've got no idea what I'm talking about, you won't have a good time. I just love looking at all the Sky Pirate illustrations and it makes me want to make a Sky Pirate costume really badly, but that's a future project probably. I did look, some people have done cosplays. They were very, very good cosplays, but I have, I have a vision, I have a vision. I'm in the middle of two things at the moment. They are both review copies. Uh, the Space Sirens, or a number of us are buddy reading review copies of The Adventures of Amina El Sarafi, which is the new Shannon Chakra Borty book coming out in ooh, a few weeks. I'm really loving that so far. I think it is not 
as to my tastes as Dave Abad has been, but I think it is a very different book and I actually really appreciate that. I think if it just felt like another Dave Abad style book, it wouldn't be as enjoyable. There's a lot of humour to it. Uh, the main character, I mean, it is, uh, it's told in first person and she is incredibly, the only word I can think of is sassy. Just there's so many quotable moments. It's really fantastic. The crew that they're putting together, oh, wonderful. I think I'm about halfway through now, maybe 47% or so, uh, and I'm having a wonderful time. Really long chapters, uh, but I'm having a wonderful time. I would say if you're planning to pick this up, go in knowing it's going to be first person. That surprised me, but it's not a bad surprise, for me at least. And the other thing that I'm reading that I'm hoping to finish today is Scarlet by Genevieve Cogman. This is a reimagining of the Scarlet Pimpernel uh, story, but in a world where the French aristocrats are not just aristocrats, they are also vampires, or some of them are vampires. It's unclear how many of them are vampires. They've been called sanguinocrats, uh, it's a it's a whole thing. There's there's a whole thing going on. I don't know how I feel about this yet. I really like our main character Nelly. I think she's really uh, enjoyable at the moment. She's been taken off to to France and she's fallen into all sorts of misfortunes. And it's it's good. It's good. But I can't shake the thing of like this is silly. And you know my thing about real historical events having a fantasy element. Uh, but I think this isn't going to bother me in the end because I think it knows and it's having fun with it. And obviously it's drawing from a fictional account that is also set in that time. I feel like there's something in there. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm interested in it so far. I don't I don't have a fully formed thought because most of my thoughts have been that the French aristocrats are vampires. That's fun. Um, and I don't know if the book actually is fun or if I'm just treating it that way. We'll get to the end and I'll let you know. Physical books that I still have to read. I have my reread of The Unbroken in preparation to read The Faithless. I need to up this on my priorities list or it's not going to happen. Uh, and I also have uh, A Dark Shade of Magic by V. Schwab reading it for Overbooked. And then, of course, I have Across the Wall, which is my Old Kingdom book. It's the last one. I'm I'm doing the thing that I always do. We'll take a moment here to discuss the thing that I always do, which is read these big series and just lose momentum right towards the end. I do it with TV shows. I do it with films. Sometimes I won't watch the end of films. I don't know why. I, I could probably sit down and ponder about why that is for an hour, but honestly, that's for a Patreon coffin break. I think it has just to do with I don't like things finishing. I don't like things ending. I don't like running out of things in case they don't stick the landing, but Across the Wall is short stories, so it should be fine. I just need to put some time into finishing that. And then there's also Animorphs 48, but I'm not prioritizing that at the moment because everything is too much. Because next week is my off week and therefore there will probably only be one video next week and it will be my overbooked video. I don't know if there's gonna be anything else. There'll probably be a Patreon live stream. There's a lot going on in life at the moment. So I'm actually really glad that next week is an off week. I will, however, tell you what I'm gonna be planning on reading so that you can have that insider knowledge if you would like it. So following on from the various series I'm in the middle of, we'll have Shades of Magic 2, which is called a gathering of shadows? The cover will be up. <laughs> Midnight Over Sanctifrax will be happening again. My childhood favourite Edge Chronicles book. We'll see how it fares now. I'm also starting my reread of the Archivist Scythe series, so I'll be reading Scythe. Let's see how annoyed I get at the romance. And then two review copies. I have The Faithless, sequel to The Unbroken, and, and then I have The Foxglove King by Hannah Witten, which I am giving a fair shot, but I didn't like her previous work, so we're giving it a, a reasonable, reasonable chance to impress me, but we're not solidly going in knowing I'm going to read all of it, right? That's the energy we're going in with. Maybe that's being closed-minded. Perhaps. I'm trying. The only new release that I have to talk about this week is The Last Tale of the Flower Bride. Last... Yes, The Last Tale of the Flower Bride by Roshani Chokshi. This uh, I haven't got a copy of. I might see if the library have it. I've not written it off. I liked The Gilded Wolves. I wasn't obsessed with it. It wasn't my favourite heist book. I don't know what this is about even. I just know that it's out. Shiny cover, there we go. I have brought no new books into my life this week. Nothing new has entered the shelves as far as I can remember. I'm trying to think, have I been anywhere that I don't remember going? Uh, have I purchased any books without telling myself I'd purchased them? I don't think I have, so I think we're okay. I think based on that, that the TBR is now down to about 29 books, 28, 29. I'm proud of it, I'm pleased with it. Let's keep knocking that down in March because I'm not reading many own TBR books this month. Don't worry about it too much. Grand, what have you been reading? What have you been up to? Let me know down in the comments below. As you know, I always love reading your comments over my weekend. It's really an enjoyable part of my weekend. So please do drop them if you would like to. While you're down there commenting, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. It makes me feel loved and appreciated. You can also follow me on social media. Come hang out on Discord where we have chill chats about books. I'd like to say an enormous thank you to all the ghosts who haunt me over on Patreon. They support the channel and in return get early access to videos, bonus content, live streams, and more. All so thrilling and exciting. If you would like to join their number, that's linked down below as well. Thank you so much for watching. That's all from me and I will see you in the next one. It's gonna be some bloopers now. Let's get hyped. Let's get hyped. Um... <laughs>
let's get hyped and immediately stopped. And then I did actually finish Monsters We Defy by Penelope, Leslie Penelope, and is it Penelope Leslie then? I think this might, ooh, that was very loud, sorry. I'm in the middle of, this is four. 